All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the shop today. So today's project that we have going on here is this RZ60 Brush Hog by Bush Hog here. Um, this brush hog is pretty old, but we are going to do some work to it here and get it looking a little bit nicer. Some welds have broken on it. We're gonna beef it up a little bit in some spots and uh, just give it a little bit of an overhaul here so we can brush hog some fields with it you know we've got some welds that are broken need cleaned up but overall it is a you well used and abused brush hog but we will see if we can get her looking a little bit better here and a little more operational it does work but uh, it needs some love so I have the other sh ha half of the PTO shaft over here on the bench. It's pretty tight sliding, so we need to clean all the old grease off of this, lube it up with some new grease, make that slide better. I think I'm going to heat up some of these dents here and pound those down a little bit with the acetylene torch just to get a couple of those out. If we look underneath this unit here, It definitely could use some new brush hog blades and if we grab these then these are supposed to swing free that one does but we have one that is oh no it is swinging free as well but those need lubricated because they should swing freer than that and sharpened And one of these is definitely on upside down. So we'll have to figure that out. This was not our brush hog before this. So we will uh, do some work to this and uh, go from there. So first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna think, check out how, how the gearbox is on this. See what the oil looks like in there. And uh, we'll go from there. So let's do that first. All right, let's go ahead and crack the drain here. See what we get. I'm gonna go grab. I'm expecting molasses out of here, but I guess we'll find out. Oh yeah. That's good stuff right there. Yeah, that's some dark oil. Gear oil, 80, 90 weight. That's what these should have in them. That stuff smells terrible. But at least there's oil in it. So I won't complain about that. So we'll let this drain out and uh, we'll bring you back in when this is done. Something exciting. Two hours later, still coming out. All right, so I have some 80, 90 weight here. Uh, I'm gonna put in there. I think I have just about enough. You don't 
the Hulk Hogan leaves down. As snugged up as good. All right, let's put this in there. They say it takes about 16 ounces, so roughly half a quart. Which I think is about what I have here. It's going slow because it is still coming out of here. It takes quite a while. This stuff's pretty thick. All right, I'm going to let all this drain in here. Hopefully get a little more out of this and we'll be back. All right, we're back. The level is there, it's a tiny bit low, but that's all the gear oil I have. And um, so we'll leave it there and we'll top it off when we get some more. Put the fill plug back in. to go crazy on these click all right these funnels are pretty handy if you don't have one of these that can screw right onto these uh, bottles and jugs here works out pretty well all right let's see about getting these blades off side of lane all right let's see what we can do here I guess hoping that if I heat it up it'll just spin off
All right, I'm gonna get the welder out so we can put a tack on the bottom of the one that's spinning and hopefully get that to come off like that. Let's get on there. Throw a tack on there. So this thing stopped. Coming off. Well, it's wet. It's not gonna like this. Let's see if that's enough to do it. So we're going to heat it up a little more. just be welded um, to the blade now but that's not a big deal we'll just cut the tacks when we reinstall it here just see it there there's that blade probably hot There we go, and look at that, dropping on the ground even broke the tacks. I mean, it looks like that plate comes off too. All right, welcome back to the shop today, everyone. You know the saying, another day, another dollar. Whether that be a dollar in and the green or a dollar out in the red, dollars are moving somewhere, right? But anyway, we're back on this brush hog project here today. So we're gonna get um, some things welded up stiffen this frame up stiffen up the deck put a bump guard around the outer edge of this brush hog here and um then get a coat of paint shot on it get these blades sharpened up down here reassembled we did get the drive shaft over there sliding now so that works well um and then this thing will be ready to put into service here, so let's get to it. All right, if you enjoy this kind of content, hit that like button, hit subscribe. If you want to see more of these videos, and uh, share them with your friends if you, they like this kind of content too. All right, let's get to the video. All right, so the first thing we need to do here is get these cleaned up. We need to get the paint out of these, so I'm gonna grind those out. I'm gonna gouge this out right here, clean that up so we can get some fresh weld in there, get that strengthened up. Um, yes, what else do we need to do here? This is bent, that's gotta get oxyacetylene torch. These need cleaned up, that's gotta get welded. I'm gonna fully weld all this. 
Uh, we need to bang that out somewhere. I don't really like that, but if that's how it's got to stay, whatever. It is what it is. Um, this get welded. We're going to put a frame around the whole thing to hopefully strengthen it up so we can mow over some bigger trees with this thing. All right, let's get to it. pretty good for the gouging out. I'm going to switch over to a flat disc now. All right, bring you guys in for a little update here. So I have this quarter by two inch flat stock here on the bottom. And then I have a two inch by quarter inch angle here on the back. That's kind of how I'm gonna do this here. I kind of made a mistake and torched that one off a little short, but that's no big deal. I can. I can just weld this piece in there and uh, nobody will ever know the difference except you guys on YouTube. So, but I've got that around here. I'm trying to decide if I want to put a piece up to the front here. It does clink it quite a bit stronger, so uh, we might do that here. I don't know, but I got to figure it out because I got to get this job done because I got other stuff to work on, so. I'm gonna keep cracking at it here and get what I can videoed for you guys, but if I miss something, I'm kind of under a tight deadline with this here. I got other stuff to get in the shop, so we're gonna get cracking and see what we can do. I'm gonna weld this stuff out right now and see how I like it and how strong it makes it before we decide what we're gonna do over here. So that's the plan. I'm just gonna stitch this in. I'm not gonna fully weld it, and um, we're just gonna go from there. All right, let's get it done. I don't know what that is, but I'm killing it.
All right, everyone, I got these sides uh, on welded on here like we had talked about. I got a uh, couple braces on the top here to give the upper deck some rigidity. I didn't film any of the welding because it's pretty hard on the camera. But the welds look pretty good. I just stitched it on here. Got these welded up. But everything is done with the welding now, so I just need to get it re-cleaned up and ready to shoot. And uh, we're going to shoot this in Kubota Orange, I think. So That's a wrap for this one. I got all the sides welded on here. We did put those on. We welded the uh, new, new skids on the bottom here. Got this all the way around, so that should strengthen this brush hog up. I've got this angle iron in the back for mowing over some trees. Hopefully that helps. So we'll see. You guys will also see when we do this on, or uh, do some brush hogging on video. We will definitely show you how it works and uh, if it strengthened it up, which I think it did. I mean, it had to have none of this flexes anymore now so that seems pretty good all right guys thanks for watching click that subscribe button we will paint this tomorrow after work all right we'll see you guys tomorrow have a good one thanks for watching